Well, this is a project I've been working on. Those of you that watch my channel know that a few months back, my I burned the engine up in my tractor because all the coolant ran out from a, getting a hole in one of the hoses. And so I wanted to make a coolant sensor that would alert me when there was no coolant in the system. And so one of the viewers recommended possibly one of these. I think it was one of these, but I bought one of these. And what it's supposed to be able to do is detect fluid in a container or a cylinder or something like that and it does a really good job of that so the way I have this wired up is if this is not detecting uh, water like right now then this LED is going to blink and this relay also I was going to have it not only blink the relay but I was going to have it sound the horn on the tractor so you you know even if you're not looking at something you'd be able to hear that horn blowing and think what the heck's going on so now this actually just this will will run this LED you don't need the relay or anything like that and I'll give you a schematic uh, here in a minute and I'll post it in the description of the video a link to it so that you can go get it if you want to see it. it you can see when it detects liquid in a cylinder it shuts that LED off and everything's good and then when it loses that connection it starts blinking again so in that respect it works really well unfortunately for my uh, application it's not going to work great because you take a rubber radiator hose that's empty of course and you put it on there and it thinks it's full of water so the reason is is because it's the rubber because it'll also do the same thing with this mat it does the same thing with my finger and anything metal which it tells you in the description that it, you, you can't use it on anything metal but you also can't use it on anything rubber because it's going to think you have water in there now but I thought I'd go ahead and show this to you even though it's kind of a failure for what I was wanting to do uh, because it's really useful if you needed to do something like you know run a pump to fill a barrel with water and then you want this to be on the outside and when it gets up to a certain level it'll shut your pump off for you or, uh, you know, they, people tend to use these for brewing beer to uh, keep their containers doing, uh, their containers at certain levels. I don't understand how all that works. But then uh, also in hydroponics, they'll use these to keep the levels of uh, their tanks the same. In, in aquariums, you can make sure that your aquarium has the right right depth of water in it. So anyway, although this circuit isn't going to work for I want it, for what I wanted it to, I do think it's a useful circuit and I may use it for some other things down the road. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.